It's the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Logan, and I'm here bringing y'all this review to this newest Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats project called Unlocked. Um, now, for those of y'all who don't know who Denzel is, he's one of my personal favorite rappers, probably my most listened to rapper. Um, he's coming out of Miami, Carroll City, uh, Florida, of course. Um, and he always hits us with some good bars, some decent storytelling sometimes, uh, good lyricism, really good beats usually. Um, and again, Kenny Beats, of course, is a great producer, so to see them working together is very exciting. Uh, but back to Denzel, you know, he's hit us with quite a few solid projects from um, 32 Zell, you know, having the song Ultimate on it, Lord Vader Kush, of course. Um, let's see, Imperial, having the song ULT on it. Um, then, of course, my favorite project by him, and one of my top 10 favorite projects of the whole past decade, of course, the 2010s, and my second favorite project, I believe. Or no, my favorite project from 2018, which was one of the better years in hip hop, um, Taboo. Love that song. Love that album. Uh, love the song too. But uh, of course, Clout Cobain's on there. A lot of a lot of great songs on that one. Um, and then he hit us last year with Zoo, which I thought was really good. Again, around an eight eight point five out of ten on that one. So he's hit us with a lot of great stuff. Um, usually, like I said, with some bangers. Um, with some really good flows, really good lyricism. So whenever I saw this one announced just a couple of hours before it was going to be released at midnight um, today, I was very excited, very excited, especially knowing that Kenny Beats usually hits us with some good production as well. Um, like I said, this is, this was kind of a surprise EP. It's only eight tracks, 18 minutes. Um, and like I said, it was announced just a couple of hours before it dropped. Um, just a little bit of background about this one. One, um, as you will tell from the way it starts, and I'll get into that later, but from the way it starts, it is um, very cartoony, very like comic booky, y um, and it actually does have um, videos for every single song where they uh it's like a it, it's a cartoon basically and it mimics other cartoons such as like Scooby Doo and so on um which I think is hilarious. I love the fact that they're both kind of nerdy guys but really cool at the same time um and putting that into their hip hop, you know, I love when people do that such as like how Wu-Tang does it or how um Zarface of course being Wu-Tang members um how they do stuff like that. And I love that Denzel's doing that here with um Kenny Beats. Uh let's see. One more side note, this was actually recorded in only 24 hours. Uh, Denzel was on with Kenny for a show or something, um, I think a radio show or something, and they ended up just hooking up and recording this project in 24 hours. Now, like I said, it's only 8 tracks and 18 minutes, but to record 8 tracks in over 24 hours, and they might have even, who knows, they probably had some thrown away also, that's incredible. I mean, that's absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna since it's only eight tracks, 18 minutes. Like I said, I'm gonna do a track by track analysis, uh, just going through saying the things that I liked and if there's anything that I didn't like. Which forewarning, there's not much that I didn't like on this one. Um, it starts with track one, where um, it's just an intro. Basically, it sounds like some Saturday cartoons. You know, it has a narrator, and then at the end, it shows a little bit of what to expect from the beat sound. With it being, um, it starts off kind of dark. Uh, and then there's some voice modulation over a little bit of Denzel Curry rapping, but there's really not much there for you. Um, and then it kind of just transitions right into the next song, uh, which is Take It Back. Now, Take It Back has some really good lyricism on it, a great flow by Denzel. I absolutely love what he does on this track. Um, I mean, it, it just sounds like another Denzel Curry track, a little bit of dark production over it by uh, Kenny Beats, a little bit more in-your-face and aggressive than what you find on the rest of this project. Um, and he has some good bars on here. He says, uh, for example, on the hook, he says, You fell in love with Kali Ma. Now it's time to take your heart. These N-words want to take it back like Civil Rights and Rosa Parks. Um, I think that's an absolutely amazing line. And I love the fact that, for those of you who don't know what Kali Ma is, of course it's from Indiana Jones um, and the Temple of Doom. And the reason he says, uh, You fell in love with Kali Ma. Now it's time to take your heart is because that's what the person says whenever he literally take someone's heart out. It's like using magic or something like that. Uh, you'd have to watch the movie to understand it. But I, like I said, I love those little nerdy bars that he throws in there. Um, cause that's a lot of the stuff that I grew up on watching. So it's fun to see that in my favorite music as well by one of my favorite artists. Um, now the second verse, he again uses a little bit of voice modulation for, for the second verse and the rest of the song. Um, and it would have been better with his normal voice, but again, it still works. It doesn't take you completely out of the track. It just kind of 
makes it a little bit more disjointed. Um, next track, Layup. Uh, one line I want to throw out on here before I get into breaking down the song. He says, Franklin's on me, Los Santos, Diamond's on me, no Thanos. I've seen this one going around on Twitter, and people are loving that one. I think that's a hilarious bar. Um, but it's a little bit more calm of a beat, although still very much dark um, overtones, dark atmosphere. And Denzel is rapping in a similar way, you know, a little bit more calm than he was on the last track, but still kind of aggressive um, and dark. Uh, it's a good flip of the switch from the last track, obviously still being dark, but not quite as in-your-face or aggressive as we come to expect from Denzel and the beats that he chooses, of course. Um, the next track, Pyro. Um, just going to throw out a line again because, like I said, he's hitting us with some great bars on this one. Got them bags full of goodies like I'm CeeLo Green. Who the F trying to mob out? Of course, referring to Goody Mob. I think that was a great bar. But on this one, we're getting a lot of grimy production um, and way more aggressive rapping. Not quite as dark, really. But again, like I said, just grimy, in-your-face beat. And um, Denzel's rapping right along with that with some really aggressive bars. Um, it's just a very, very lyrical track overall. Um, following that up, we kind of take more of a dive into the more calm, not quite so dark tracks, starting with Diet, where there is a more calm beat, like I said, way less dark of an atmosphere, and Denzel's just really aggressive rapping on here, um, and he's just showing off his punchlines like crazy. There's Just look up on Genius what he's saying on there while you're listening to that track, because he is hitting us with some great punchlines. Um, on the next track, we have So Incredible, which is uh, kind of a 90s type beat that Kenny hits us with um, and it's just a bar filled track um, so many great lyrics on this one I'm going to specifically point out one that again I saw circling through Twitter I thought this one was hilarious where Denzel says bars harder than the morning wood trying to pee up I thought that was so funny but great lyricism there again all throughout that track um, the next track is called Track 7, where it's just a couple sampled lines from the previous song, So Incredible, using the voice modulation again um, over a different beat, though, this time, where it's a more triumphant beat, not so much of a 90s sound, although that's still kind of there. It's it, Again, it's a more modern, triumphant-type beat. Um, and, I mean, I'm, there's not too much to say about this one. Again, uses some of the same bars. I'm not a huge fan of the voice modulation. I mean, this one could have been left out, but then that would have cut the track time, the runtime down even more, but... Um, you know, just kind of a wash on that one. This track didn't need to be in there, but it's not bad either. Like, again, great production, just didn't really add anything to the runtime. Um, and then the final track is Cosmic, and again, another tri very triumphant beat. Uh, it leaves you wanting more. Um, and luckily, they have both confirmed that there will be more. So, um, again great lyricism on that one as well so i mean just to conclude this one because again there's not too much to break down being that it is only 18 minutes and two of the tracks aren't even real tracks like the first one being a uh, intro and um track seven just being a voice modulated version of the song before it basically just with samples of the bars not every single bar word for word um but it definitely has more different beats um, with Denzel rapping over it than we usually hear. Again, he usually goes for those dark bangers like you hear on Taboo. Of course, he had more uh, Miami-type production on Zoo, but again, this is very different from that as well because it's not as much in-your-face, aggressive, banging club hits. Um, this one has more of the uh, like like the 90s vibe, the triumphant, upbeat vibe, which he goes with sometimes, but it was just very fun to hear. Again, it does have some, have some dark tracks that you can just picture Denzel rapping over perfectly, and those work amazingly as well. But it's fun to hear him do something a little bit different. Um, like I said, a lot of old school production, easy to vibe with songs. Um, and here... Uh, being that it's just a sh shorter project, shorter EP, he doesn't really go for like the storytelling like he did with um, Taboo, and he doesn't have the theme of, you know, Miami and all that, and a lot of storytelling throughout his songs as he did on Zoo. Um, but he's just flexing with his bars, flexing with his lyricism. Very great, um, very great punchlines. A lot of great lines overall on here, um, and I. I'm not one that can count the unique word percentage, but whenever those numbers come out, I bet it's going to be high. I mean, it was high on Zoo, so I cannot wait to see what it was on here because I bet it's probably higher. I mean, he uses some crazy words on this project, and I loved hearing it. Um, 
by far his best lyrical performance. Love the beat selection. Love the rapping style. He's very aggressive when he needs to be. He calms down a little bit, but you know, Denzel Curry can only be so calm. I love what he hit us with, and I hope to God that there's another project coming out later this year because he did say to expect an album. And while I am happy, definitely happy with this, I hope that he's hitting us with a full length project. He seems to be able to put out great music very quickly. It doesn't take him much time to record. It doesn't sound like, and he has, he, he is a great writer. He is an absolutely fantastic writer, great rapper. And I can't wait to see what he comes out with next. Like I said, he's really trying to go down as one of the greats. And, um, at the rate he's going, he could get there if he hits us with, um, obviously, longer projects. A lot of people are going to say, oh, no, he only dropped great 18 to 30-minute projects and then Taboo. But if he's able to hit us with something this strong at only 18 minutes, I hope that he can repeat it and hit us with something this strong or stronger like he did with Taboo at like 40 or 50 minutes. So that being said, I am very excited to see what he comes out with next. I loved this project. I'll be going back to it. It's a very, very easy listen, again, at only 18 minutes. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The only reason it's not higher, 8.5 or 9, is because of those two tracks. One, the intro. Just, I mean, obviously, it's just an intro, so I don't judge that that much. But then the voice modulation on the second track, um, and then the voice modulation again on the um, seventh track, which was just honestly a waste of space. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of that. kind of draws you back from the record a little bit. doesn't completely take you out, but yeah, it does kind of... Uh, mess up your listening process a little bit, but not again, not enough to knock it down too much. Um, if those were out, I'd probably have it at an 8.5. Um, so yeah, absolutely really fun project to get through, really easy project to get to, and I highly, highly recommend listening to it because it was very enjoyable. Um, that's all I have for y'all now. I appreciate y'all watching this video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Comment your thoughts on this project or um, comment what you've been listening to because obviously, you know, it's only not even 1 o'clock on the day that the music just came out and I've already got a video out. I'm about to sit down and record another one for the Pop Smoke project. Um, so let me know what you've been listening to. Obviously, those two are easier to get through because they're shorter um, and there's not a lot to dissect other than this one having amazing bars. But... Let me know what you've been listening to. Let me know what you want me to listen to. I'll probably have, including this one, five reviews coming out this week. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff dropping. So, and generally, I feel like I have enough to talk about them. Um, so, anyways, make sure to comment and sub. Hit the like button. Hit the bell next to my name for notifications on when I post videos. Make sure to share so your friends can watch these videos. I appreciate y'all watching, and I will be hitting y'all up next time.